talking about. Miss an episode of Home and Away? Or just want to see it again? Catch up online at Yahoo 7 TV. Just click plus seven. It's a tradition that began in Japan two decades ago. It's where food meets sport. It's where two professional chefs go head to head in a timed battle. It's a culinary cook-off like nothing else you've ever seen, where up and coming chefs dare to challenge the masters. And the mission, to create four magical dishes, each including the secret ingredient. A secret that is yet to be revealed. They seem invincible, but the Iron Chef legend has been shaken. Challenger Herb Faust. Last week, school cook Herb Faust became the first Australian challenger to claim victory. I cannot believe that we've just beat the Iron Chef. Tonight, it's the Iron Chef versus the beachside cook. La -la 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 -bomba. A man for whom reputation holds no fear. I'm quietly confident we may have a chance. Here's another upset waiting in the wings. This is beyond simple. It is really splendid. It's just sex on a plate. The Iron Chefs await the contender. So we welcome the Kitchen Stadium from the Babaloo Bar in Lawn, Victoria, Chef Sasha Meyer. Today's challenger is Sasha Meyer. He's been cooking around the world for the past 22 years. I've cooked, uh, you know, Malaysia, New York, Barbados, Norway, Switzerland. And I cook because I think this is my thing. This is what, what I was I'm supposed to do and I enjoy it. I love it. Sash is a fan of Spanish cuisine and he's serving it up in Lawn, Victoria, where he lives with his young family. And the ocean brought me to Lawn and the ocean brought me to my wife and children now, three children. The ocean also inspired him to open his own restaurant, Barbaloo. What we do here is about fresh products, straight from the ocean or the, the harvest to the table, and keep it really simple. That's my philosophy. Simple food's great. I love it. Yeah, that's it. That's, yeah, that's, oh, look at that. Beautiful. There's nothing you could throw at me that I wouldn't know how to deal with. And I'm going to win this. Welcome. Thank you very much. A long way from your beachside restaurant, uh, a little similar? Yeah, similar, but maybe a little bit bigger. <laughs> it's time for you to now choose which Iron Chef you will do battle with tonight. Who's it going to be? Well, I choose this gentleman for his cuisine is wonderful. I uh, respect him. Neil Perry. Food has been at the centre of Iron Chef Neil Perry's life for as long as he can remember. I remember being about five or six and having chilli mud crab on the table with my father and I think that really sealed the deal. His dishes define modern Australian cuisine and his internationally recognised Rockpool restaurant has grown into an empire, which includes Spice Temple and Rockpool Bar and Grill. I would say I'm really versatile because I do cook a lot of Asian food as well as Western and I have a steakhouse, so I've got a lot to draw on. In his last Iron Chef battle, oh. Neil Perry was victorious by just four points. Iron Chef Neil Perry. Tonight, he faces an even more determined opponent. If somebody wants to beat me, they're going to have to bring the best game in town because I'm not going to lie down, that's for sure. So the chef from the sleepy beachside town of Lawn, Chef Sasha Meyer, is up against our Iron Chef Neil Perry. And the deal is they have to come up with four sensational dishes in one hour, each including the secret ingredient. And what is that ingredient? Well, it's time to head to the chairman to find out. Tonight, our secret ingredient, the theme in which our chefs will offer their succulent variations, is... So it's a slippery encounter. It's battle squid tonight, but the chefs won't face it alone for Iron Chef Neil Perry. We welcome his sous chefs Phil Wood and Ben Pollard, and for challenger Chef Sasha Meyer, it's Nico Busso and Amanda Garner. Well, good. good. We are. Yeah. I think we've got to do the chicken salad with squid. The fish fry yeah. yeah. We might think about the char grill. I think we should do a test on that. While our teams are discussing their tactics, they need to find a way to impress our incredible panel of judges, Australia's most feared and revered food critics, Mr Leo Schofield, Larissa Dubecki and Simon Thompson. 
And sitting beside me tonight to call the action is a man with food on the brain. He's a journalist and food expert, Mr Richard Cornish. Welcome tonight, mate. Thank you very much. What world of opportunity does Squid open up tonight? Squid and its first cousin, Octopus, tonight. Uh, we'll be seeing a lot of dishes tonight. Uh, perhaps not dessert, I hope not anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but what we're looking for tonight is tenderness and flavour. Mm, lots of opportunity indeed. And while our teams just discuss their final plans and get used to their kitchen spaces, the countdown to the battle is on. It's time now to head to our chairman. Iron Chef Neil Perry. <laughs> chef Sasha Meyer. And the call to go cook has been given by the chairman. They are now Chef. off. Remember their mission. Squid or octopus must be central to four dishes that will wow our judges, who will award points on taste, plating and originality in using that ingredient. A small town talent up against the head of a restaurant empire. Battle Squid is now underway. The sweet smell of the sea has enveloped Kitchen Stadium. Beautiful, fresh squid and octopus, freshly caught this morning. Oh. Iron Chef Neil Perry <laughs> has taken a trip for the worst. <laughs> Damn, that was scary. Now, what you've got to remember, we have absolutely anything that they could possibly need stacked on those shelves. So the sky is the limit in terms of the options tonight, providing it includes, in some component, and hopefully the feature, squid. We're going to start out with some raw squid, marinated in lime and olive oil with uh, alberica ham, and it's going to be sitting on top of a beautiful custard of squid ink. Then we're going to do a confit of squid with white cut chicken, and then we're going on to black ink noodles with squid, smoked bacon, tomato chili. Then we're going on to a lovely little squid tube stuffed with uh, octopus tentacles that are pressure cooked, and then that's braised in a tomato clam and a little touch of chili sauce. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Now, Chef Meyer, you got to remember at his restaurant, Barbaloo, he's head chef, okay. front of house manager, and self-admitted dish pig and janitor. So he's a he's a hands-on kind of a guy. I've got a Spanish theme in mind for tonight's menu. We're going to do a black paella with octopus and pippies, and then we'll follow off with uh, a ceviche of uh, squid. Meatballs, albondiga is a traditional Spanish dish with pork belly and octopus, and it's saffron sauce, beautiful colour. And we'll finish off with uh, char-grilled octopus with piquillo and uh, parsley dressing. Over on challenger Sasha Meyer's side, sous chef Nico is taking apart the squid, putting his fingers deep inside the hood. Oh, that black there, that is the ink. I think we've all seen nature documentaries when a squid has been chased, it releases a big cloud of James Bond type ink. <laughs> now, do you have to get rid of that or can that actually be used in some oh. shape or form as a, di as a dish? Grant, that is a delicacy. That is absolutely beautiful. What's coming out now isn't. <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs> so you're only re eating the hood, the legs, and those little flaps either side of the hood. Over on Iron Chef fast. Neil Perry side, right. sous chef right. Phil. We're seeing a few aromatics coming out. We're seeing a whole garlic being chopped in half. We've seen a chicken come out of the fridge. Seeing a bit of ginger being chopped there. He's going to team this chicken with a squid salad. It's a very Asian-inspired process. It's a uh, Chinese white cut which means it's cooked in a white stock. And the whole idea of it is we get nice, firm texture of flesh and we get a beautiful jelly through the, uh, through the leg section. One. Challenger side, Sasha Meyer is shocking the octopus. This is classic octopus cooking. Hot water and you're putting the octopus in and out, in and out. We're repeating that method, what it's doing. It's getting the protein together on that octopus then go, then and then allowing the gelatin okay. to come out. That's this is a really failure. important part okay. of this cooking process. OK, let's go. Vamanos. If you look over an eye in Chef Neil Perry's side, we've seen a little jar of black ink come out. You're asking about the ink before? Yeah. It looks disgusting. Does it taste all right? It's the taste of the sea. Beautiful. How, how do you use the ink? Well, we use it in a lot of ways, but you can use it simply to make great rice dishes, pasta dishes, or just marinate things in it. Iron Chef Neil Perry, Ben, he's inking up some flour and eggs. That's the start of a beautiful black squid ink noodle dish. This is classic Neil Perry. Where's the paella pan here? 
Challenger Sasha Meyer having a bit of trouble finding his way around the kitchen there. What are you looking for? Pay your pan. I want to pay your pan. Somebody. Pay your pan, or if you don't pronounce Spanish properly, paella. That is that big flat dish that you put rice and a whole lot of seafood in. Classic octopus cooking. Where's the paella pan? There's no paella pan here. Paella takes a bit of time because actually there's a couple of steps that are needed. You've got to start off with uh, soft frito, which is cooking down tomatoes for a long time to get it nice and jam-like. And then you're going to put some rice in there as well and some stock, and then you're going to let it, the whole thing cook. Good news is he's found the pan. He's up against the clock. Just 60 minutes for four dishes. The Iron Chef there dismembering a whole octopus into the pressure cooker. That cooker is going to tenderise the octopus. And unless I'm mistaken, he's actually going to stuff it inside the squid. A beautiful complex dish. It's going to be great. Oil. Oil. On the challenger side, Amanda finally cutting up the onions, cutting up lots and lots and lots of tomatoes. They're the ingredients for the sofrito, the base for that beautiful paella. I love the kitchen dance that you see amongst staff members. You know, the ones that have been working together for a long time. Seems to be this unspoken hop, skip and a jump that happens around one another. And if you notice, actually, on the Iron Chef Neil Perry site, it's uh, like a silent ballet. It's almost mime. Uh, whilst there's a lot of word work going on on the Sasha Meyer side. Chop, chop, I need some tomato. Let's go. It's, I really need to get that tomato in here, please, darling. It's a lot of pressure down here. And these tomatoes are so bad. I was just about to start my tomato sauce, blanch the tomatoes, just recognise that they were going nowhere. Oh, these tomatoes are so ordinary. I was looking for a very simple fresh tomato sauce, full of flavour and sweetness. They had nothing going for them. These tomatoes are rubbish. They deserved the bin, and that's what they got. Mate, the tomatoes are so rubbish, I've had to go to tin. Oh, what a <laughs> brunch! Is that? You don't get to be an iron chef by taking compromises. I need the tomato. But interestingly, unlike the iron chef, the challenger has opted to use fresh tomatoes. He could be taking a chance. I've decided to stick with them and push on. I've got an hour. Decisions have to be made quickly. Okay. It's underway. Any way you dice or slice this, the battle is on. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. How would you like to win a wedding reception where all your guests will be served an irresistible beef meal? Iron Chef is giving you the chance to win a wedding reception valued at $30,000, featuring beautiful beef at the famed Opera House restaurant Guillaume at Benelong. To enter, go online at yahoo7.com.au slash beefwedding and tell us why nothing beats beef. Trust your beef flex, because nothing beats beef. It was an amazing episode, but the best is yet to come. And you don't need to be a geek to calculate this. Beauties plus mud equals baba boom. They all jump into the mud, and it's a pretty good look. I actually couldn't breathe. It's the last one before the grand final, Thursday on 7. Joanna, you recommend Nivea Firming Body Lotion Q10 Plus for firm skin? It easily penetrates the skin, boosting Q10 levels, and that improves skin elasticity. Nivea Firming Body Lotion gives you firmer skin in just two weeks. Tefal invents Ultimate Auto Clean, the only iron with a self-cleaning sole plate for long-lasting glidability. Tefal, ideas you can't live without. Hello, George. Where am I? Make an educated guess. It's not my time. Maybe we could make an arrangement. An espresso. What else? Love legendary CoverGirl Lash Blasts? Make your look even bolder with new Smoky Shadow Blasts. A unique dual-ended stick. It's the smoky eye. Made easy. New Smoky Shadow Blast plus Lash Blast from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. Everyone loves Pizza Hut's Pizza Me deal so much, we've extended the offer. So you still get any three medium-sized pizzas for only $13. Ready for a pizza deal this good? Well, we're ready when you are. 
Our off-road adventure began at dawn. Picking up supplies, we travelled rugged roads, past the black stump into an area of heavy vegetation. Taking on more supplies, we soon reached water and some slippery terrain. As nighttime approached, we hunted for food, then camped beneath the stars. New Grand Vitara Urban with Bluetooth, parking sensors and alloys. The compact SUV for the city. Congratulations to tonight's lucky winners. Thanks to Whirlpool, you've won an amazing kitchen package, including a side-by-side -side fridge, oven, cooktop, microwave, and much more. For your chance to share in over $70,000 worth of kitchen appliances, call 1902 or SMS your full name, suburb, and state to 197777. Then be watching Iron Chef Australia next Tuesday to see if you're a lucky Whirlpool winner. This program brought to you by Suzuki, one of Japan's largest automotive manufacturers, building 2.7 million cars globally each year. Suzuki, go your way. Welcome back to Iron Chef Australia, where Iron Chef Neil Perry is doing battle with challenger Sasha Meyer, a restaurateur from Lawn in Victoria. The secret ingredient is cephalopods, squid and octopus to you and me, and the challenger is taking our taste buds to Spain, with the star of his menu so far, a massive paella. The Iron Chef is turning up the heat on a Chinese-inspired white-cut chicken and squid dish. There's going to be jet black squid ink noodles. And he's up to his elbows in a squid stuffed with octopus. It's in the pressure cooker now, but controversy has struck. While the Iron Chef rejected the kitchen's tomatoes, the challenger has decided to use them. Who's right? We'll find out soon enough. Challenger Sasha Meyer, what has gone into the paella? We've just put some squid ink in there, and uh, it's delicious squid ink all the way from uh, Spain. So we're just getting a bit of colour in that, thank you. And then the tomato is melting down nicely. OK, so that beautiful squid ink really darkening up. Remember, this is a very, very delicate fishy flavour. It is not uh, high aroma like anchovies. It's delicate, it's sweet, and it goes so beautiful with things like onion and tomato and wine as well. Rice. Rice, 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 rice. Bomba, bomba, bomba. Where's the bomba? bomba. 14 minutes to go. Let's talk to our judges, Mr. Leo Schofield. Welcome to you. Have you heard of Mr. Meyer before? Never, but there must be hundreds of restaurants all around Australia that we haven't heard of. And this guy really looks fantastic. I can't wait to try his food. Larissa, do you have your eye on a particular dish? A particular dish? I, I think I'm looking forward to some, some char-grilled octopus. It looks like real taverna-style food, which, frankly, I'm, I'm into at the moment, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to tasting the challenge's food. Simon, uh, your thoughts so far? What's the challenge with squid and there are there any concerns that you might have about that particular product? I think the two big challenges are when you start out it's beautifully soft but if you overcook it you have to wait a long time before it comes back to being soft again. The other pressure point of course for Sasha is his paella. It takes time to make and I want to see a lovely crust on the bottom because if you're a Spaniard that's how you measure it. It's the crust that you get on the rice that really makes the dish. Under Sasha Meyer, we're seeing Sue Chef Amanda opening up some little spring peas there. Beautiful little fresh new seasons peas. Potting them. They don't just take they cut corners, they actually do everything by hand. Is there a great deal of difference between the fresh and the frozen? Personally, I really do love frozen peas as a, as a, as a quick, you know, particularly if you... They're quite good. Hi, right, Chef. Why is that? It doesn't apply to all vegetables. Because if they actually pick peas when they're absolutely at their prime, freeze them, they're better than peas that are two or three days old because once they come off the vine, they really start going downhill. Has anyone seen a cutter? A little round cutter. You guys cutter. need a cutter over there. Yep. You need a cutter. Yep. There you go. Sure. Gracias. Challenge to Sasha Meyer. Borrowing a piece of kitchen equipment from Iron Chef Neil Perry. Such giving. Iron Chef Neil Perry taking a knife to a beautiful piece of what looks like jamon, yes, Spanish ham, Iberico ham. Pigs have been fed acorns. The legs are taken off and hung for 36 to 48 months. Beautiful piece, some of the best meat in the world. Over on Challenger Sasha Meyer's side, we're seeing that pork happening as well, taking the skin off that pork belly. So that would indicate to me that they're not gonna be using the crackling with the pork, they're taking that apart. That's the best bit, that's what I thought. <laughs> I love Christmas time. Oh, look at that! Here comes the mincer. No, it's not another brick in the wall. 
It's mincer time. More mince than Mr. Hum than Mr. Humphreys from Are Being Served. OK, got it now. This is the start of his albondigas, or Spanish meatballs. He's going to team this minced pork with minced octopus and make beautiful little balls. 30 minutes to go. Looks like the Iron Chef's going a completely different direction with his ham. It's going to be served sliced raw with raw squid. Yep. Iron oh, Chef Neil Perry in a moment of absolute generosity is handing around that very, very <laughs> pricey Spanish hamon. <laughs> Sasha, I might go and ask Mr Perry for a job. <laughs> he got hamon. Challenger Sasha Mai has taken the hard road. He's uh, doing a bit of hand mincing there. Mm, I need more meat. I need more meat. I'm having a slight struggle with the fat factor. The pig fat is softer than the meat, so it goes through the mincer easier. But if the balance of fat and meat is wrong, it will affect the flavour. Looks like some sort of chilli sauce on the Iron Chef's side there. I guess they've got to make sure the heat is just right. A bit more sugar. I might put a little bit more chilli oil in here too. It's pretty hot. Yeah. You reckon? Mm -hmm. Too hot. Don't make it too hot. How many minutes have we got? That hasn't started. Yeah, no, it's... It hasn't started to bubble. Well, I don't really know what happened with the pressure cooker. I just looked over at it and realised that it wasn't on by the fact that the time hadn't moved. I thought, how long has it been? Oh, my God, it's half an hour. Can you press start? Yeah, it's going on. we got now. The pressure cooker is not on. His octopus stuffing isn't cooking. Oh my God, I'm going to have to start thinking about another way of preparing this dish. Want a hand over there, Neil? Are you OK? Mate, I'll be fine, I think. OK, sure. What chic. The environment may be intense, but the camaraderie at the moment is strong. The formula is simple. Four dishes, three judges, two chefs and only one winner. And they're only armed with an octopus. You don't want to miss this. We'll be back right after this on Iron Chef Australia. This is Alison in our test kitchen. She's a stagler for tradition. Like our lightly marinated whole chicken. The Stegel's family feast. What if this or that was neither either but both? Happily, Honda really thought about this when creating their iVTEC engine. It has a clever cam widget that changes the way the engine breathes, making it both economical and powerful. So you can save the juice and really cut loose. I VTech, V Technical, V Clever, V Honda. What's next? Samsung brings you great true to life 3D depth. That's why Samsung 3D TV is recommended by most retailers and technology journalists in Australia. Find out for yourself why Samsung is Australia's best-selling 3D TV. Samsung. Turn on tomorrow. Get flawless skin, even in harsh, unflattering light. Revlon Photo Ready Makeup. Bends and reflects light for a perfect airbrush look. Revlon Photo Ready Makeup. Now try Revlon Photo Ready Compact Makeup. Do you remember this? So good in your cakes and your biscuits. So good. So good in your puddings and pies. So good. So good on your cereal. So good as a drink. So good. Here's the reason. They want me to sing it, don't they? I'd love to. Really? The best roadside assistance for long trips is NRMA's Premium Care. It's NRMA's legendary roadside assistance with towing for larger vehicles and longer distances. And for serious breakdowns, covers accommodation and alternative transport. While NRMA manage the repairs, getting you on the road sooner. Join or upgrade now and get a hands-free car kit. Call 13 11 22 or visit NRMA today. InfoTalk, knowing what you buy.
Okay, I got you. Cut the alarm. Magnum presents for the first time the new Magnum Temptation with chocolate sauce, white chocolate, and delicious brownie pieces covered in Belgian chocolate. New Magnum Temptation. Seek your ultimate pleasure. Go your way with Suzuki and save over $3,000 on run-out Suzuki Swift. It's never been better value than now. From just $16,990 drive away, plus a five-year extended warranty and a $500 gift card. See your Suzuki dealer today. Did I ever tell you? Bette Midler. Ta-da! One of the most beautiful movies of all time. Beaches. Thursday. Welcome back to Kitchen Stadium, where Tomato Gate is raging. While the Iron Chef rejected the fresh kitchen tomatoes, challenger Sasha Meyer has used them in his Squid Ink Paella. He's also showing courage with his Albondigas, Spanish meatballs made of minced pork and squid. But right now, the Iron Chef is in strife with his octopus stuffing. It's supposed to be bubbling in the pressure cooker, but someone pushed the wrong button. Welcome back to Kitchen Stadium Australia, where we're a little shell-shocked down on our Iron Chef side. Iron Chef Perry, in a few oh, technical mate. dramas tonight. Stopped up, didn't push the go button. I'm the pressure cooker. You're kidding. Can always be an issue. Is it off and away now? It's up and away now. I'm hoping it'll make it in time. 20 minutes to go. Nico, catch, catch, catch. Sue Chef Nico has spent a lot of time in... South America, big fan of limes. And out they come, we can see them. Sous Chef Amanda is giving them a good roll there, just to release the juices. You don't actually uh, squeeze a lime over a juicer because there's so much pith in there that it can get a little bit bitter, so uh, always good to squeeze in by hand. That's the start of the Challenger Ceviche. Raw squid and herbs with lime juice. The acid in the lime juice cooks the squid. It's delicious. Iron Chef, Neil Perry's side. The pasta machine has come out. We're, oh, and that big black ball of squid ink pasta dough. God, look at that. <laughs> yeah, good, it's going to start the pasta. Sous Chef Ben has the pasta maker there. He's making some very, very fine pasta there. A bit finer than Taglatelli. Could be angel hair, little black angel hair. Behind you. Chef Meyer is not one that normally likes to use a lot of electrical equipment. He's more of a hands-on kind of chef. Believes it affects the flavour and the texture. He likes to get in and do all the stirring and all the dicing and slicing himself. Hands-on. Open the iron, Chef Neil Perry side. Beautiful, organic chicken. It looks at like it's almost ready to come out of the pot. Watch this. Into the ice water. Brrr. Chill it down, take the heat out, stop the cooking process. What it also will do is actually set the juices. They solidify just under the skin. So it's just absolutely delicious. Pepper grinder over there, I think. Chef Sasha, there seems to be a fair bit of friendly banter across our kitchen stadium yeah. floor as well. Though he's got seven hats, you don't seem to be intimidated. No, no, I've got a beanie. I've got a beanie. <laughs> a beanie, because it gets pretty cold down there in Long. We usually wear beanies. Are you happy with your progress, though? I am, I am happy. Um, yeah, I think now we're just on the uh, home stretch. We've got about an hour and a half to go, I believe, so uh, we should be that's fine. That's incorrect, I'm afraid, <laughs> young man. Uh, but best of luck to the countdown. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Challenger Sasha Meyer there. <laughs> Out of the blender has come that mix of breadcrumbs, pork fat, pork and octopus. Giving a bit of a roll in the hand to make little meatballs there. Albondigas, oh. albondigas. Al albondigas. Albondigas. Vamos, amigo. Olé! <laughs> it's very important to say olé when yes, you're making meatballs. Absolutely. Yeah. Sadly, no extra points for speaking in Spanish, but the judges do have 20 points each to award. Ten of those are for taste and five each for presentation and originality. The scores are then combined for a total out of 60. 15 minutes to go. Right, let's go, come on. How's that sweet potato Nico, there? Yeah, mate, you need to get your octopus on now, please. Oh, sorry? Put your, put your octopus on now. Darn, please. Chef. It's going on now. Challenger Sasha Meyer be now beginning to feel the pressure. He's giving instructions to sous chef Nico to put the octopus on. Putting the oki on there, Rob, if you want to. There it goes. Beautiful marinated octopus heading the char grill. The little one's on now as well. Can pull them to the side. Let's go. Come on. We've got 15 minutes and we've got a plate up, so move it. Come on. 
Over on Iron Chef Neil Perry side, we've just seen a jug or a bowl with it looks like egg yolks and some squid ink. It looks like a black syrup of pleasant. It looks like a black milkshake. Uh, and I don't think it will be a milkshake, of course. A uh, squid milkshake would be terrible. Uh, mate, we're in good shape, except yeah. I'm just really in the weeds here. Iron Chef Neil Perry looking at the countdown on the pressure cooker there <laughs> with minutes to go. <laughs> we're still waiting that to finish off. We're in the total path. Jerry will make it. If the octopus doesn't cook, the whole dish is a disaster because I need tender octopus to stuff the squid. Oh, come on. Otherwise, I just don't know what I'm going to do about this dish. Oh, no. We had an upset last week with the Iron Chef defeated. Is it about to happen again? On Challenge of Sasha Meyer's side, very exciting. We have seen some dishcloths go on top of the paella. This means it's going into its resting stage. Not far off serving now. It's just having a little bit of a sleep, and soon that'll be ready for service. OK, we're looking good. Ten minutes to go. Iron Chef Neil Perry, as close as he is to plating up, he's waiting for that pressure cooker to finish. Yeah, the pressure's on! <laughs> he's decided he can't wait any longer, but will the octopus be cooked? How's it? It's awesome. Yeah? It's cooked, but remember, this is just the stuffing. With just minutes to go now, he's got to get that octopus inside the squid and then get the squid cooked. Plenty of work still to do for the Iron Chef. Challenge aside, Sasha Mayer, we have seen a big pan of octopus balls, okay, peas, stock, peas, sherry... Peas! And now those green peas that we saw being potted before. That tastes good. Nico, are you happy with that hockey, are you? Yeah, mate. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. Five minutes to go. Come on. Yes, chop, yes. chop, 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 chop. Let's go. Iron Chef Neil Perry. Beautiful knife work. Look at this. Delicately slicing through that raw squid. This is intense okay. stuff. A huge reputation is on the line. He could build it right now here in Australia. The ceviche is ready. Ow, 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 ow. Hurt yourself? In the last minute's challenge, Sasha Meyer has cut his hand. The singing chef isn't singing anymore. This does look serious. There is blood here in Kitchen Stadium tonight. Can you come over and... Are you allowed to help me or not? No, I can't. Redesign your weekend. Fridays from 8.30. Escape to the country for fresh inspiration. You get a good feeling. Oh, Very I get a good. wonderful feeling. Then renovate. Don't detonate. A 60-minute makeover may be all you need. Okay, team, in you go. And simply put, this is how not to decorate. This is a home of somebody with lunatic tendencies. <laughs> Make plans for your weekend. Fridays, 8.30 on 7.2. Congratulations to tonight's lucky winners. Thanks to Whirlpool, you've won an amazing kitchen package, including a side-by-side -side fridge, oven, cooktop, microwave, and much more. For your chance to share in over $70,000 worth of kitchen appliances, call 1902 or SMS your full name, suburb, and state to 197 Then be watching iChef Australia next Tuesday to see if you're a lucky Whirlpool winner. Welcome back to Kitchen Stadium, where squid is the dish of the day. Iron Chef Neil Perry is preparing squid ink noodles. A Chinese-inspired white-cut chicken is on ice, but he's racing the clock with his stuffed squid after a pressure cooker stuff up. Oh, come on. Challenger Sasha Meyer has come over all Latin on us, working on ceviche, paella, Spanish meatballs, and also one very badly cut finger. Ow, 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 ow. And no one's allowed to help him finish, but he's sous chefs. In the last minute's challenge, Sasha Meyer has cut his hand. Valiantly, he's carrying on. There is blood here in Kitchen Stadium tonight. He's called on sous chef Nico to take the mantle, to carry on, to be the chef. He's passed it on. I just, I just, there is blood. There's a lot of blood, but just. 
Flash has hurt himself. OK, we've only got four minutes to... Yes. We've actually only got four minutes to play it up. Can you yes. please arrange, get a large plate, and you arrange yeah, that I've like I discussed? That. Yeah, Yep. Yep. Vámonos, por favor. Iron Chef Neil Perry, there's the first sign of plating up. Is the white cut chicken and squid salad. I don't think that's Over on Challenger Sasha Meyer's side, there are those Albondiga Spanish meatballs. Lots of saffron, very yellow. Chef Sasha Band Aid, just, just open it up for me. Three all. minutes to go. Iron Chef side, there's the raw squid with that beautiful Iberico ham. The, uh, the yeah, is there a glove? Glove, 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 please. Grab one for you now. I can't go in the kitchen unless I've got a glove on my hand. Hurry up. You right? The culinary campaign is coming to a finish. Just a couple of minutes remain. This is intense stuff. I and Chef Neil Perry's side. We saw the pasta be made before. A beautiful squid ink pasta. And now, final stages. It's just about to be plated up. Terry? This Not is for the balls? One? Yeah. We're going to right. and this large white... Sasha white Myers now coming back into action, donning the glove, ignoring the pain. Just just don't break them up. No, Pick I the know. three nice... You've broken that one up. Two minutes. One? Challenger Sasha having trouble with those meatballs. Hey, slow down for a Tom's second. Get Two minutes to go, chefs. Two minutes. Iron Chef has beaten the pressure cooker. The stuffed squid is ready. Behind, hot, Have hot, you hot, 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 hot. Sasha, you want a serving spoon? I'm checking it now. Yep, and I don't want to go past this ring, yeah? yeah. We want to stay in. And Just watch that hot pan on the bench. The other chef, problem right? we've got is the twiggy bits. Challenge aside, the charred grilled octopus going on the plate. Much discussion going on there. Mm. Twiggy bits. Take the twiggy bits off, please. Yeah. Can you help her take the twiggy bits off? Challenger, Sasha Mai, are you going to make it with one minute to go? Yes, yes, we are. We're, we're going to make it. <laughs> he's dying. <laughs> he's that. He's giving us the... Okay. He almost brushed us off then. There's those squid ink noodles not perfect on the plate. Change the plate. Yeah. Iron Chef Neil Perry is not happy. He wants it replated, but time is running out. 45 seconds to go. Can I get the fingerprints off this one? There's yep. a fresh clean one here. Over on Channel to Sasha Meyer's side, the plate's now coming together. We need moho. Where's the moho? Moho, waiting. Bring it yep. down to me now, quick. The squid ceviche looking beautiful on the plate. Iron Chef Neil Perry, the squid ink noodles plated up. Is he happy with this? Yeah. Finishing touches. It looks like he's happy this time. You right there, Neil? Mate, can you give me a hand? I'll be over. <laughs> oh, you've only got he's one. He's only got one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ten. This needs nine. Oh, oh. Eight. Oh, oh, oh. Seven. Six. Five. Final touches. Seconds four, to go. It's all or nothing three, now. Two. One. And there's the paella. Light on the buzzer. Chefs, please step away from your plates. The battle is over. Well, blood's been spilled in this titanic battle. It just had everything, didn't it, Richard? Oh, battle squid. We had some paella, we had chicken, we had squid. It was an absolutely amazing place tonight. Yeah, the pace was incredible. There was friendship, there was camaraderie. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. We almost lost the man. Eight amazing plates on offer. Are they kitchen stadium worthy? <laughs> Judgment awaits after this. The foreign diplomats running up huge fines and paying nothing. Tomorrow on 7 News, we expose the worst countries. It is very unfair that certain people don't have to observe the law the way we do. The foreigners thumbing their noses at our traffic laws and getting away with it. 7 News, tomorrow at 6. Australia's driver's licence scandal. A $1,200 fine for killing a child. A $200 fine for smashing into another car. No jail, no loss of demerit points. All because they have a foreign licence. Why 700,000 migrant drivers don't need or want an Aussie licence. How about getting away with traffic offences the rest of us can't? On 7s today tonight. If you're looking for a refreshing treat and haven't tried frozen yoghurt, here's some great reasons to try Buller frozen fruit and yoghurt. 
It's 97% fat free with no artificial colours or flavours, so you can indulge without the guilt. Made with real fruit and fresh yoghurt, it's light, refreshing and tastes deliciously creamy. In a tub, a cup or on a stick. Full of fruit and yoghurt has something for everyone. This summer, treat yourself to something deliciously different. Try Buller Frozen Fruit and Yoghurt. Brand Power, helping you buy... What happens when he finds out his text caused his wife's death? Rafters season final, next. Welcome back to Iron Chef Australia and the battlefield that is Kitchen Stadium. The sweet smell of the sea was central to our dishes tonight with the secret ingredient, squid. I was really excited when squid was revealed because squid's one of the things that I absolutely love cooking with. Challenger Sasha Meyer drew on all his experience living and working right around the world to produce a Spanish-inspired menu. I'm really proud of what we've done here tonight. I'm quietly confident we may have a chance and um, you know, stranger things have happened. Iron Chef Neil Perry. Chairman. Please tell us what your inspiration was for tonight's secret ingredient. It was important to take people through a journey of what squid could offer. How beautiful it is raw, quickly cooked, confit and then braised to get that really beautiful meatiness. So the first course here, we've taken slices of beautiful sashimi grade squid with lovely slices of raw squid so you've still got the crunch. And then it has parsnips, alberico ham and black ink custard. Thank you, Iron Chef. I was really confident the moment I stepped in front of the judges because I felt that we'd done our best and I think our best was going to be good enough. I think there are very few Australian chefs that would have the, the chutzpah to serve that. I think the idea of that inky jelly is so beautiful. Um, this is a superb dish, incredibly clever, a wonderful marriage of the Japanese influence of serving raw squid with some great Spanish tradition as well. It looks like a children's fairy tale put into a bowl. It's the Wicked Witch. I reckon you could serve that for Halloween to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll never go near squid again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Chef Sasha Meyer, please tell us what your inspiration was for tonight's secret ingredient. The inspiration comes from living by the ocean and, of course, the octopus, pippies and uh, calamari was uh, perfect for me. The first course is a pay uh, cooked with uh, squid, octopus, uh, fresh pippies and clams with a squid ink and a bomba rice. Something I do on Sunday evenings for locals and family. Gracias. Enjoy. Caprivece. So stepping up to the judges with your plate is quite intimidating. You've got three of uh, Australia's finest food critics and uh, I felt um, proud but anxious. This is a beautiful paella, quite different from some that I've had, which have got bits of chicken and God knows what thrown into them, you know, and they all look a bit muddly. Certainly. I've got a lovely piece of crust with it, which of course is utterly crucial to this dish. But um, one thing I'm, I'm lacking is the fully developed nature of the sofrito. I'm liking those great base notes of garlic and tomato. On this course, I couldn't help but go to China. So the squid and chicken are a beautiful marriage together as Chinese cooking quite often uses different proteins with seafood. The squid itself is confit, so it's cooked uh, slowly at about 85 degrees for about 10 minutes to hopefully introduce a bit of butteriness and tenderness to it. I like the, the textures of the, the, the softness of the chicken and the, the chew of the, the squid. I can't think it makes it less chewy, though, doesn't it? Well, not in my particular instance. Yeah, I'm still finding it quite chewy. Sometimes I get... My mouth goes numb with chili. If the dish is too hot. This one, I've only gagged a little bit, but you've got to get used to the, I guess, the initial kick of the chili. And then it opens up into a whole lot of different flavours. As a restaurant critic, my tongue is insured for a million dollars. I'm wondering if I'm going to be making a claim tomorrow, but 
It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> this is a ceviche of squid with a Peruvian slant. So it's slightly cooked uh, in a bit of beer. And then we've dressed it in some lime juice, coriander, chili, onion, and uh, some sweet corn to finish it off. That was a thing that struck me, first of all. It was so pretty. It's almost too pretty to eat. The ceviche has used the lime to cook, essentially, the squid, which has changed its texture from its naturally raw state. There's no heat used in this dish, is there? A minute in, in, in boiling beer and salt water. Beer, that must be why it tastes so good. There's a lightness that, you know, is, is a wonderful contrast to the other dishes that we're having tonight. So, fantastic. When I saw squid, I couldn't help myself. Squid ink with squid and Schultz bacon and finished with fish sauce and just a few croutons for crunch. Enjoy. Black is not a colour we normally associate with food, but here it works. It is a very sexy dish. It's got this wonderful shiny black, like onyx, you know. The, the look is gorgeous, but... That, it's the... the reduction in the pan that, yeah. that creates it. I, I think squid ink tastes... It, when it's used correctly, it has that fresh alkaline flavour of, of a beautiful oyster. Mm. It's wonderful. Here we have uh, albondigas of pork belly and squid with a little touch of La Goya sherry, saffron sauce. So albondigas are meatballs, Spanish meatballs. Enjoy. I have children. It reminds me of bringing up my children. A nappy time. I know it's a saffron chef, but was this the colour you were aiming for? I was aiming for saffron colour. It could have been a little clearer, but, uh, you know, I like the striking colour of the, of the saffron. That's what it is. I think with this dish, the um, octopus fades into the background. It's, it's definitely there, it's a, it's a presence, but the, 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 digi the dish is dominated by all of that pork fat from the belly. A dish that's very simple, where the squid and the octopus live as brothers. The octopus, large giant tentacles, are pressure cooked and braised, and then they're stuffed inside the squid, which is braised with tomato, clam, and more of the actual uh, large octopus tentacles, just to accentuate the squid experience in the last dish of the night. I'm Chef Perry. It's good to see that you remembered to turn on the pressure cooker in time. <laughs> it's obviously worked. Simon, it was uh, by the skin of our teeth, and I shouldn't be allowed to operate electrical equipment. I also saw you go for the canned tomato. Yes. What happened there? You're much better to use a beautiful Italian tin tomato, which is picked at peak season. So I had to make a really quick decision um, to rescue the dish and put some intensity into it. You certainly have done that. Wonderful flavour. That all of the textures are melting into each other in a, a dish like this that you performed in, in less than an hour is a remarkable mm. achievement. Thank you, Larissa. This is the char-grilled octopus. There's some baby and some larger ones in there with piquillo pepper and parsley salad. Uh, there's a dressing of mojo, which is a lime, oregano, garlic and cumin dressing. One mouthful and that is incredible. It's just sex on a plate. The, the flavours are incredible. It's, it, it looks deceptively simple yet. It just it compels you in the palate. Amazing. Sex on a plate. I thought it was finger on a plate because I think this, <laughs> this dish came at personal cost, didn't it, Chef Meyer? Yeah, I, I cut my finger. Yeah, I, I see octopus generally as a flavour carrier. This is beyond simple. It is really splendid quality. And I know you pronounce it uh, moho, but this dish has plenty of mojo, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Judges, you have tasted all the dishes. You now have a decision to make. Make it wisely. Happy birthday, dear Ruby. I love you, Ben Rutt. What will happen?
When he finds out, a text message caused his wife's death. His message. An extraordinary ending to the year's final rafters. Next. Take an exclusive tour of music star Casey Chambers' beachside hideaway. <laughs> this is where all the music happens. The Better Home Summer Special. Friday. Presenting La Familia Garlic Bread. Made from pure butter and market fresh herbs. La Familia Garlic Bread is so delicious, the Italians want it back. And if you love our garlic bread, you'll love our range. Mmm, La Familia. You will hit the stage and put on a show as your very own boy band. And look who's stopping by to give the geeks tips. The Justice Crew. Can a geek sing and dance his way into a beauty's heart? So nervous for them. It's the last one before the grand final, Thursday on 7. This program is brought to you by Steggles. There are no added hormones in Steggles chickens. Welcome back to Kitchen Stadium, where seaside chef Sasha Meyer has taken on culinary king, Iron Chef Neil Perry. Neil Perry is an extraordinary chef, and I think anybody that would take him on has got to have an awful lot of courage. I was so impressed by Sasha. The Iron Chef presented raw squid, ham and parsnip salad in black ink jelly, a salad of confit squid and white cut chicken. Squid stuffed with octopus in tomato and clam sauce and squid ink noodles. Huge amount of pressure cooking in 60 minutes. It goes in a heartbeat and you're just trying to do great restaurant quality food in such a short period of time that it's one of the hardest things you could ever do. The challenger presented a Peruvian style squid ceviche, char grilled octopus in lime mojo, octopus and pork belly meatballs and octopus and squid black paella. I'm really proud of what we put up there tonight. We've never really been under this pressure before. It was pretty full on. Iron Chef Neil Perry. Challenger, Sasha Meyer. The chairman and the judges have tasted each dish and delivered high praise and candid comment. Their scores on taste, plating and originality have all been tallied. Challenger, Sasha Meyer. Iron Chef, Neil Perry. The winner of Battle Squid is... Iron Chef, Neil Perry. Congratulations to you and your sous chefs. What a tight tussle. A tough battle in Kitchen Stadium. And it was so close too. Let's take a look at how the judges voted. For all important taste, the Iron Chef scored 23 out of a possible 30. Sasha, 20 points. The Iron Chef received a very high 13 out of 15 for presentation. Sasha, 10. And it was the same outcome in the originality stakes. The Iron Chef defeating a worthy challenger by nine points. The Iron Chef's food tonight has been Neil Perry at his best. Unfortunately for Sasha, he is up against one of the great Iron Chefs. And when you have a very high mountain to climb, it's very difficult to get over the top. If Sasha had a weakness, he was just a little bit too laid back. Congratulations once again to Iron Chef Perry. Join us next week when another challenger steps inside Kitchen Stadium. That is the battleground right here. Until then, good night. I'm Grant Denyer. See you then. I'm proud, I'm happy, and I've really had a great time. I've learned something and I've enjoyed every bit of it. It's the season final of Iron Chef Australia, and this contestant has an ego bigger than all three Iron Chefs put together. It's a pioneer in French cooking, and I wouldn't mind just kicking his butt. Just when he thinks it's game one, it goes from good to bad. The custards are messed up. We've got to start again. We need to rewrap it. To you won't believe what...
What happens next? The season final of Iron Chef. Next Tuesday, 7th.